hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nelu and you are watching Nelu stitches today we're going to learn how to cut and sew this beautiful shift dress um, I made with two yards of fabric okay two yards of Ankara it has pockets also on it and if you're interested in this please keep watching so i have my fabric on fold i'm using two these two lovely fabric for this tutorial okay so um i have folded my fabric into four right i folded into four and first i'm going to mark my bust line or armhole line my chest line nine inches and then I'm using 11 inch for my bust line and 18 inch for my waistline and then my hip line I'm gonna count from that 18 inches that we count nine or eight downward and that will be your hip line okay so that is what I did and I'm going to roll in line there okay so I'm going to connect um, rule a line on all my marks so here is my bust line and here is my waistline so next I'm going to mark my shoulder so here I'm trying to show you that I mark I folded into four okay is into four I folded with my highest measurement which is my hip plus extra three inches my hip divided by four plus extra three inches okay so here I'm going to mark my shoulder line my shoulder is 18 divided by 2 is 16 sorry divided by 2 is 8 plus half inch for joining of the sleeve I marked 8.5 so I marked the same thing on the armhole line so I'm going to connect it upward like this okay so next I'm going to mark my bust circumference divided by 4 bust 40 divided by 4 is 10 plus half inch for ease so you can use 1 inch if you want you use 1 inch for ease and 1 inch for sewing allowance or you can use half inch for ease and 1 inch for sewing allowance so I mark the same thing on my bust line and here is my waistline I'll mark my waist divided by 4 plus one inch for sewing allowance and one inch for ease or half inch for ease okay so you're going to do the same on your hip line you mark your hip divided by four plus ease allowance and sewing allowance so remember if you're adding one inch for sewing allowance that means you automatic automatically add four to your dress four inches if you add half inch for ease allowance you automatically add two inches to your measurement do you understand that so what i have on my hip line here i'm going to mark the same thing on the hemline like this okay so the same thing i have on my hip line is what i marked on the hemline because the dress don't have slits so it needs to be free down there right okay so um and if you want it more free you can still Add something to it okay you can still add like one inch to it but I want it straight down you know so that is why I marked my that way okay and the length I am working with you can use any length of your choice guys any length you like okay so and I'm going to connect from my hip to the waist with a curve ruler so if you are good with your free hand you can curve with your free hand okay so I'm trying to highlight the mark so that it will be visible for you guys to see. So I'm going to connect from the waist to the bust line like this. Okay. So now I'm going to mark my neckline. I'm using the neckline neck width of 3.5 and neck depth of 3 inches for the front. And then the back I'm using 1 inch. So this is 3.5 the neck depth i'm using three and then there are uh, neck depth for the back i used 1.5 okay okay 
okay so i use 3.5 for the neck width 3.5 for the neck depth for the front and 1.5 for the back neckline and i slant my shoulder with one inch okay i slant the shoulder by one inch and i'm going to get the midpoint of my armhole from there and i'm going to connect like this okay so you can either come in by half an inch or 0 0.75 okay or you eyeball it so i wanted to eyeball it but i decided to mark it okay so <laughs> I decided to mark it and I am covering my armhole now. So I went in by 0 0.5 and I'm covering the armhole. So I'm using the same armhole for the back and front today. Okay, so I'm not doing any different armhole for the back and different for the front. I'm using the same thing. So here I'm going to mark 4 inches downward or 5 inches downward for my front opening. Okay, the neckline. I need to open the neckline so that your head can pass through if you're wearing the dress because it doesn't have zipper allowance and if you want to add zipper allowance it's fine so just make sure to add your back zip allowance okay so this is my bust line my waistline and my hip line i'm trying to show you guys what i did okay and here is the hemline okay here is the hemline and this is my neckline i use 3.5 for the neck width and then I use 3 inches for the neck depth and 1.5 for the back neck depth and here I marked 4 inches down you can use 5 4 inches so here I slant my shoulder by 1 inch and then I marked get the midpoint of my armhole I came in by half an inch and then I curve my armhole right and here is my bust line i mark my bust circumference by by four plus ease allowance and sewing allowance okay so like i said you can use half inch for your ease allowance you can use one inch if you're using one inch you know that you're adding extra four inches to your dress if you're using half an inch you know that you're adding extra two inches to your dress so the choice is yours right so i connected all the measurements together like this okay so now i'm going to cut this out so you remember you first of all cut the back neckline okay you cut the back neckline first of all then you bring it out you bring out one and then you cut the front neckline so if you want to add zipper allowance you're going to fold them separately okay you fold them separately so that you can add your back zipper allowance so now i'm going to mark out the v shape we have on the dress so i from the bust line i came down by six inches I marked six inches from my bust line or from your waistline you could just go up by one inch or you mark it from your waistline upward the choice is yours just be creative guys you're a fashion designer be creative okay so i went straight this way that is how i connected my v shape okay so this is going to be the green fabric that i wanted to use as the combo for this dress okay so i'm going to cut this out so before i cut i'm going to add half an inch for joining of this um other fabric to the to the dress so i'm going to mark half an inch like this okay so I marked half an inch from the top to the down part and I connected it with my ruler and I'm going to cut on the half an inch that I marked, okay? So you're going to cut on the half an inch that you marked. Okay, so now we have half an inch seam allowance. So now I'm going to mark my pocket from the waistline. I'm going to go down by two inches. From that two inches, I'll mark seven inches down. That is where my pocket is going to start from and i'm going to notch so if you like you can mark seven inches directly from your waistline but i like coming down by two inches because i don't want my pocket to be hanging so that to come down a little bit i want to fix my hand inside it to enter freely okay so that is why i like coming down by two inches so now you fold your fabric into two to cut out this part 
okay so we are going to be cutting this out so i'm going to pin it down and i'll be adding half an inch for joining of this to the to the other parts if i did not do that you'll be having shortage of fabric it may not be enough okay to look somehow so you need to add your seam allowance so that you sew on your seam allowance so i'm going to mark the half an inch this way so i just kind of um eyeball it <laughs> but you need to mark oh. but if you are good at eyeballing <laughs> it's fine so but eyeballing is for lazy tellers <laughs> guys eh? i just eyeball it because my baby is already crying so i need to leave i go and tell to him so i just eyeball it you mark half an inch for your allowance and then you cut out and then i'm going to trace the neckline like this excuse me and then the shoulder slant and we are good to go okay So next we are going to cut our sleeve so my sleeve is my fabric is folded into four i fold for the length is eight inch plus 1.5 for folding allowance and then the width is my armhole line which is 8.5 plus 1.5 seam allowance or one inch seam allowance but i use 1.5 sewing allowance so next i'm going to measure here what i have here is 3.5 so i'm going to use it as my sleeve cap I'm going to mark 3.5 here this way your armhole the sleeve and the armhole will rhyme okay so here i'm going to mark my elbow my bicep circumference plus divide by two plus one inch for sewing allowance so my bicep circumference is 14 divided by two is seven plus one inch seam allowance so i marked eight there and i'm covering my armhole and then i'm going to bring this down like this as simple as abcd guys so we connect this way and we'll cut this out so as you can see it's on fold i folded into four okay so i'm cutting the two sleeves together okay and our sleeve is ready so I have four sleeve here. I mean, two sleeves here. As you can see. All right. So now I'm going to fold the hem of the sleeve. So I'm going to mark the pockets now. I'm folding into four. Okay. I folded into four. If you have enough fabric, you fold enough. <laughs> but I just marked. I put that exactly seven inches okay so the pocket length remember is seven inch okay so and the length i use 10 inch for my the deepness of my pockets okay so i'm just gonna fold like this i did not widen my hand very well because the fabric is small so if you have enough make sure you open your hands very well so that um your pocket will be a little bit containable at least to be wide enough to contain little things okay so i marked seven inches for my pocket remember we marked seven inches for the pocket okay so i marked the same seven inches and then i put my hand the fabric is my managing it all right so next we are going to start sewing okay so we'll start from the with the front so i'm going to place this like this so this is how it's going to look after you sew you have something like this so i'm going to pin it down now you have something like this after you sew i'm going to pin it like this right side facing right side though. okay you pin right side facing the right side of each other so I'm going to pin it all around. I'll be doing that off the camera. Okay. I'm going to pin it around. 
like this and I'll also pin the other side okay I'll pin the other side around too Okay, so after pinning, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew. So I'm done pinning. I'm going to start from the down part and sew up, and from this other part, I'll when I'll go up to, or you start from up to the down and you go up again. All right. So that is that. And the pocket, I'm going to place it this way, right side facing the right side of the dress, like this, right side facing the right side of the dress. And make sure you place it. You know, remember we notched our pocket where we measure, so you're gonna place it. Look for that place, the notched part, and you place your pocket there. Okay. Okay. So after sewing, you're gonna turn it over like this, and you top stitch. Okay. You turn it over and top stitch, and you do the same to the back panel. Okay. So I'm going to take it to the sewing machine now and sew and I'll be back to show you guys. Okay guys, so I'm done sewing the fabric together. I'm done joining the other parts. I cut out to this other one like this. Okay. So, and I notched the pointy parts. I also sewed my pocket and... I flip it after sewing this way flip and top stitch on the pocket okay so that to stay in place okay and I also did the same to the back panel I also add the back panel pockets okay and next we're going to cut the facing for our dress okay so we'll be using facing for this so to cut the facing I'm going to fold my pieces into two I'm going to fold the fabric into two like this okay so make sure what you are folding is longer than the four inches we marked okay remember we marked four inches for the front opening at the neckline okay remember we're going to open the front by four or five inch <coughs> So you place this way you fold your fabric into two like i did and then you're going to mark trace the neckline trace the neckline and the shoulder slant so the shoulder slope and then you're going to cut uh your facing and to cut the facing remember to mark I'm going to be using 4.5 for the opening, the neck opening. Okay, so I'm going to use 4.5 for the neck opening. So either you use 4.5 or 4 inch here. Okay, so you make sure that your facing is at least 3 inches longer than there or 4 inches longer. Okay, so I'm going to make it 4 inch longer than the opening. Okay, so now I'm going to cut my facing okay so my facing is cut out you can give it any shape you like at the down part so I'm going to place it this way so you're gonna notch the midpoint of this like this I also notch the midpoint of my facing and I'm going to place them right side facing the right side of each other like this. Like this. And I will secure with pin. Okay, so I'm marking the four inches that we are going to use for the slit. So I'm going to connect it upward like this. So I want to show you how you are going to sew your facing, right? So you're going to sew this way with half an inch, this way, with half an inch, this way, 
with half an inch okay you're going to sew with half an inch so you come down this way and go up again and like this okay that is how you're going to sew your facing so i'm going to start sewing it from this other side okay i like sewing from the main fabric not from the facing so i'm going to repeat the same thing here So you sew from here up to where I marked at the center. Sew this way. You come up again this way. You go the other side again like this. Okay, so this is how you are going to sew your facing. Right? And I'm going to do the same thing for the back panel. I'll cut the facing for the back panel. The back panel don't have slits. So I'll just sew it round the neck. Okay? So I'll cut facing for the back. I'll just sew it round the neck. Right? So I'll go and do that and I'll be back. So I'm going to sew the back panel. After cutting the facing, I'll sew round like this. That's all. Okay? So I'll just do that off camera. Okay, guys, I'm done sewing here. I'm done sewing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to notch the neckline like this. Okay. So I'll open it up this way. The opening. Okay. Make sure you get to the point. Don't cut through. Just open it up and you're going to top stitch on the facing, okay? You're going to top stitch on the facing, the neckline side, not the slits, not the opening part. You're going to top stitch on the facing. Then when you turn it out, this is what you're going to have. So make sure to notch very well so that when you turn it will look neat don't cut through just get it very close to the thread but don't cut through okay so this is how it's going to look you go and iron it i've not ironed it i'll still do that so this is how it's going to look so we've turned the front facing and also the back as well <coughs> excuse me so this is it so and i've also did the same thing i've i did the same thing on the back panel i also turned the back panel facing so this is the back side of the dress As you can see the neckline i've turned it with facing too and i top stitch on the facing so i'm going to place them like this right side facing the right side of each other so i'm going to sew the shoulders like this this is how i'm going to sew the shoulder I'll also do the same thing on this other side flip it over like this and sew and join the two shoulders together like this okay and then after that I am going to um, shape my sleeve so I'll do that and I'll be back so guys here I've torn the shoulder as you can see they are looking neat on the right and the wrong side also so next I'm going to okay so you can see how neat it looks so i have joined my side together i sewed from here down up to this point enter the pocket come out and also sew from here down to the hem line using the one inch seam allowance i added okay so i did the same here i sewed from here down to this point enter the sleeve and sew down come out again and then down to the hem line with one inch sewing allowance that i added and then i'm going to fold this down part i want to use um i don't want the seam to show so i'm going to use hemming gum so i've i've joined my sleeve i've sewed my sleeve or i've shaped my sleeve rather i folded the down part and then i shaped it so i notched the midpoint of the sleeve okay i notched the midpoint of the sleeve so i'm going to merge this midpoint to my armhole no i'll match the midpoint to the shoulder line like this okay to the shoulder line and then i'm going to sew from here down and also 
from this other side down so that when you when your sleeve is too small or too big you can reduce or shaping it more to fit into the armhole and that is all for this tutorial and then you're gonna serge your dress and that will be all thank you guys for watching please like and share or give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and subscribe if you are new and also turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time i upload new videos see you in my next tutorial bye bye